and welcome. This is Angie with thecountrysheetcottage.net and I'm here today with a monthly unboxing from consumercrafts.com. So I am part of their design team and every month I get a box full of craft supplies and I like to open them live on air. So I'll show you what I've gotten and this is $80 worth of supplies from consumercrafts.com and I will tell you a little bit about what to expect that I'm going to do with it. So first of all, I got two of these great palette signs. So they're like three boards wide, and then they have some boards on the back as well. So I have two of those, and they're huge, as you can see as I hold them up. Um, one of these I know will be a fall sign, and it will be on Consumer Crafts website, which is craftsunleashed.com. So you can find that there in September. And hello, how are y'all today? All right, and next, let's see. I'm gonna show y'all some of my, one of my favorite things ever. So this is on consumercrafts.com. And they are actually like copper mason jars. And I got two of those this month. And what I want to do is a fall centerpiece. Um, so they already come like this with this, it's like a copper mercury glass. And it is amazing. So they already come like this. And I want to combine those with a few faux succulents. So I picked out a couple of succulents from their website that I felt kind of had a fallish feel to them. So first of all is this one. And I got, I think, yeah. I got two of those. And then the second one was this one. And see how it's got kind of brown on the ends? So I thought those would be pretty combined together with the copper for like a fall centerpiece. So it wouldn't be too over the top fall. Um, and then I got a bunch they have these little bitty tiny pumpkins in a little um, bag, and I have a ton of those. I hope to do a wreath with those, and that'll be on my site, thecountrysheetcottage.net, as long as it turns out right. They all have craft sales, <laughs> and because I'm in the thinking about Halloween already, they have these little mini skulls, and I got one package of those. I had an idea; it may work, it may not. If it works, probably end of September on my site. Um, next, so, um, for those of you that do not know, I have a grandson and he will be turning one soon. Gosh, where does the time go? Um, so I got a set of nine blocks. So these are just wood blocks and I got nine of them. Um, I was thinking about making some kind of puzzle with an image on each side or something like that. So I got those as well as they have amazing wood toys consumercrafts.com this is a xylophone and the ends are just plain wood so i may do some kind of painting on these haven't quite decided yet and they have like i said they have tons of different like wood instruments and wood toys look at these drums it's like cutest thing ever and i definitely think like they would be so cute with some kind of paint or um you know treat paint treatment around the base of the drum because it's just plain wood so I thought that would be awesome and um fun as well and let's see what else did I get I think this is it yeah okay last but not least um I got one of these so I love these for tons of different projects they have them in tons of different sizes they're called wood wall panels they are square and they come and also rectangular, like six by six, eight by eight, 12 by 12, but they are inset on the inside, kind of like a shadow box or a frame. So I use both sides for projects. I use this side, which is probably intended for projects, but I also use this side for a project. And I was thinking about this one, some kind of tray, but I also keep these on hand all the time in my craft studio just to um, use as different services for different projects. So that's it for this month. Consumercrafts.com is where you can get all this stuff. It is available now. I This represents about $80 worth of supplies from Consumercrafts.com. And if you are interested at all in seeing past unboxing videos they are on YouTube, on my YouTube channel, you can head to thecountrysheetcottage.net and click my YouTube link in the corner. Um, <laughs> you want to see a craft mentor? 
I actually just cleaned it up so I can absolutely swap it around and give you a craft room tour. And I have done one in the past. And you can see, you can search the countrysheepcottage.net for um, better pictures of this. But let's So this is, we'll just start in this corner over here. And I say it's cleaned up, but I do have a few ongoing projects. All right, so um, this, if I can get the lighting to adjust right. So there's a stack of crates over here that I use kind of like a nightstand. And then this is a day bed and it's full of pillows and also some other projects. So this is like in process projects I'm working on. Um, up there, there's a mason jar light and tons of different things I've made over the years. This is my favorite. <laughs> that was from worldmarket.com and it's a map canvas in six pieces. Like one of my favorite things ever, ever, ever. All right, and then we'll go over to this corner. All right, so this corner has a chest of drawers. Um, I have various like uh, supplies in there, different things that has got a printer and some art that I've made over the years. Vintage soda crate with vintage um, woods threads bowls. And then these are actually from consumercrafts.com as well. They're like hexagon shelves. Another thing like I love, 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 love. So um, I have those full of vintage thread spools and little mini mason jars and things like that. All right, and I'm gonna shut this door real fast. Okay, so this is like a reflector I used to bounce light like for my videos and stuff. And then this is the door to the room and it has got like a shoe organizer and different craft supplies inside of it. So everything from dry adhesive, clothes pins, feathers, just a little bit of everything that fits in there. And then next corner is the sewing corner. So it's like a small desk, my sewing machine, and my pegboard. So I can't live without my pegboard at all. So I have my pegboard all the time. And it's full of stuff from um, ribbon to washi tape to thread. And I hang some of my scissors up there as well. And then I like to, like this stuff, kind of stuff, like I hang on the wall. And then I like to find frames that fit around it. So it kind of makes it look like it belongs there. And then these shelves are actually from Walmart. So you can get them on walmart.com, search for Better Homes and Gardens cube organizers. And um, you can leave the cubes open like this one on the far left, or they have different dividers. So I have like a plus T divider for small paints and then I have like an X divider for um, spray paints and things like that. And then so I have two of these. So this one's the first one and then this is the second one. And so the same type of thing, the cross and T dividers. And then in the center of the room is a huge, huge craft table. So that's where I just unboxed everything. Um, this is a new setup I have for taking videos that hopefully will work. Um, I haven't gotten a chance to try it out yet. And the table on both ends has like more storage on both ends. And then I have various things on the top for storage like the Lazy Susan, etc, etc. And then all the stuff I just opened that I just put away. So I hope you enjoyed. It's a mini craft room tour and a consumer crafts unboxing all in one video today. <laughs> so thank you for joining me. And again, join me every month right here on Periscope or check out my YouTube channel at thecountrysheetcottage.net. Click the YouTube link in the corner and be sure to subscribe. Thanks y'all. Bye.